Hi, I'm Glenn Gass. I am the Make It Lead here at the Creative Discovery Museum. And today we're going to make a birdhouse out of Lewis soda bottle. The items you'll need for this project are a soda bottle with cap, bird seed, yarn and string, large nails, a pencil, or a dowel. The tools you will need are a box cutter, sharpie, gloves, scissors, and safety glasses. All of our projects are designed to be done with the supervision or help of an adult. First thing we're going to need to do is to get a, a soda bottle. The reason we need to use a soda bottle is because the plastic is thicker and stronger and doesn't crush when you bend it. So when you cut on it, it will help maintain its shape. With a water bottle, it's much thinner and will quite quickly tear while you're cutting on it. We're gonna to need to put on our safety gloves. And I'm already wearing my safety glasses, but be sure to put yours on as well. To start with, we're going to make an upside down U on our bottle. Then we're gonna turn it around to the other side of the bottle and we're going to do the same thing. Then we're going to take our box cutter and we're going to cut a little hole at the top of each side of our U. And we're gonna bring it down and we're gonna cut out the U shape. It's always easier to cut straight lines with, an, with a box cutter than curved lines. If, you parent, if your parents have scissors that they will let you use, you may use those instead. Next thing we want to do is take the U and we want to bend it up. Now, at this point, you can choose between cutting off the, the U at the line it makes where you folded it, or you can leave it on top so that it acts as like a little rain shield for the birds when they're perched. Now, below where your U is, you wanna make a slight cut with just the tip of your blade. Then you wanna turn your blade 45 degrees and cut again. What you're making here is like a cross shape. Same thing on the other side. You're, out, you're trying to make like a cross or an X. What this will allow you to do is to put in either your nails or your dowel. I'm going to use a dowel today. I'm gonna to push it through the X, push it all the way through and out the other side. That way it whole, gives the birds a place to land. I'm gonna reach over and grab myself a little bit of thread or yarn in this case. You can also use kite string or um, rope, thin rope if you've got it. I'm gonna make a what's called a slip knot. And to do that, I wrap the, I wrap the uh, string around my fingers, I cross it over, then I grab the long piece of string and I pull the knot down using the piece that was in my other hand. This creates a knot that gets bigger or smaller depending upon how I pull it. I pull it tight to the bottle and it holds my bottle up. Then I can wrap the top part around the branch of a tree. Now there are lots of designs you can do for your bottle. On this one I made the U upside down and I used nails coming through. This one I used a dowel and I left the flaps on. And on this one I actually took two bottles. I left it open here so I can fill it full of bird seed. It will all trickle down and then on the inside you'll see another two liter bottle that's upside down and that's where the food will come out and I can put more food in than is, and it will automatically refill the feeding compartment when they want to get food. 
If you have any questions, you can be sure to email us here at the Creative Discovery Museum. I'm Glenn Gass, and thank you for watching our video today on how to make a bird feed.